Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I'm going to present this joint work called Dual Head Contrastive Domain Adaptation for Video Action Recognition, which is co-authored by myself, Giacomo, Paulo, Thiago, Nico, Vittorio and Elisa. Our work focuses on the problem of action recognition. So, action recognition consists of, given a video, we want to detect the main action that is being performed by the actors in it. On the right, we have two visual examples of the inputs and outputs of a trained model. However, as in other areas of computer vision, action recognition also has the problem of domain shift. Domain shift consists of a phenomenon where the data distribution between two domains, the source domain that is used to train the model, and a target domain in which the model is evaluated on varies. This can be due to a number of reasons, such as different scenarios, camera properties, and so on. To tackle this issue, unsupervised domain adaptation is used to adapt a model so that it performs well on the target dataset. Note that unsupervised here means that we have no access to the target labels during training. Here are some examples of domain shift. So first we have kinetics to nectron, where the domain shift consists of having a drone record the actions, and mixamo to kinetics, which is our novel dataset where the domain shift consists of going from the synthetic domain to the real domain. Our work has two main contributions. The first one is a novel dataset to help fuel research in this area. And the second is a novel method for unsupervised domain adaptation. Here we present Mixamo. It's our novel synthetic to real unsupervised domain adaptation dataset for, vid for video action recognition. We tried to address the lack of datasets in this research direction. So we made Mixamo both large scale and with a high domain shift. The dataset contains synthetic 3D humans performing different actions in different scenarios. Also, apart from the frames, we provide key points for, for the humans, and on the right you can see some examples of our dataset. Scenarios are randomly generated, so we can create more data as needed. Also, we present our novel method, which is called Contrastive Conditional Domain Alignment, or COCOA. It's mostly based on contrastive learning to learn better feature presentations for the target domain and to align both domains. Generally speaking, contrastive learning consists of producing similar feature representations for a pair of instances that are positives and dissimilar representations for a pair that is negative, as shown in the animation on the side. I'm now going to explain the parts of our model. So first we start with source and target videos, which are then divided into clips where we augment target clips. We use the backbone network Phi that extracts clip level feature representations. Then, we use a projection head, as is normally done on contrastive, in contrastive learning, to further pr project those features. Then, on the projected features, we apply a contrastive loss, where we consider positives different augmentations of the same clips and negatives other clips. Note that this is only done for target data, as we don't augment source data. Moving on, we use a network kappa that produces weights for the clip level features, which are then aggregated to produce video level features. We give those features to the first branch of our network, which consists of a classification head that produces logits. And then we apply a cross-entropy loss on the source data to learn a classifier. On the second branch, we have a contrastive head that further processes the video level features. And on those uh, processed video level features, we apply a projector as done similarly before. We apply contrastive loss on the target video level feature representations in a similar fashion as the clip level contrastive loss. Additionally, we apply a supervised contrastive loss on the source data, which considers positives videos that have the same label and negatives videos with different labels, which enforces better features to be learned. We also apply contrastive loss that works only across domains, using labels and pseudo-labels to match positives and negatives, which enforces domain alignment. Lastly, we stabilize both heads by making them agree on a pairwise similarity metric. We tested our method on different datasets, so first for UCF HMDB, we report better results than our closest competitors, which are highlighted by black arrows. We also tested on UCF Olympics, where our results are also better, although the scenario is very saturated. On Kinetics to Neck Drone, which is a much harder scenario where the domain shift consists of using a drone to capture the actions, we also surpassed the previous competitor. Lastly, we tested our method on our new setting. Here, we heavily outperformed competitors, and also we can see that by using a small amount of label data, which is highlighted by the column Oracle in the table, we can further improve results. Thank you very much for your attention and stay tuned because we will be releasing the code and the dataset very soon. Also, feel free to reach me out on my emails and GitHub.